Welcome to Review Detective guys. For those that are new to the channel, we test out various products and share with you our average user's point of view, which hopefully helps you make a more educated purchase. Now today's video will be somewhat different. Lately my Dell XPS laptop was running quite hot and the fans were constantly on, so not only was it noisy, but the performance suffered as well from thermal throttling. So after watching dave 2 ds excellent video on improving laptop performance, I decided to replace my GPU and CPU and see what kind of improvements I could get. As a disclaimer, I'm not a pro at this, so if you try to do the same experiment, it will be at your own risk. With that said, the thermal paste I'll be using is Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, which is one of the highest rated pastes I found on Amazon and other websites. As a point of reference, I did a benchmark test which gave me a max CPU temperature of 93 degrees. Additionally, I run a 10 minute stress test which clearly showed power throttling and reduced max core frequency. So after applying the thermal paste, we'll see what kind of a difference it makes on those results. Now to remove the back cover of the XPS 15, you'll need to unscrew all 10 screws and then the additional two under the middle flap, once that's done, simply remove the cover and disconnect the battery connector that you see here. Before I move on, you can see just how much dust has accumulated over time on the fans as well as the extremities of the heat pipe assembly, so that's the first thing that needs to be cleaned. To do so, you can use compressed air cans like the one I have here, but when blowing on the fans, hold them in place, otherwise they might get damaged from rotating too fast or in the wrong direction. Now after all the dust was cleaned off, I did run a second benchmark and stress test and as you can see here I got a 3 degree decrease in max CPU temperature and a lot less variation in max core frequency. So let's see what improvements the new pace will make on those numbers. To remove the heat pipe assembly, unscrew the 5 screws you see here and gently pull it upwards which will reveal the old pace we need to remove. For cleaning you can use q-tips dipped in isopropyl alcohol and make sure nothing metallic touches the CPU. CPU and GPU. Once you finish cleaning, let the alcohol evaporate before applying the new paste. Here you don't need to put an excessive amount, for me that was about 1 to 2 drops of paste. Once the new paste is applied, push the heat pipe assembly back in place and tighten the 5 screws. Don't forget to reconnect the battery connector and close the back cover by tightening all the screws you removed. Now after running a final benchmark, I got a max CPU temperature of 80 degrees, which is an impressive 10 degree difference from when the dust was removed and the stress tests show minimal to no max core frequency variations. As you can see here, we started with a max temperature of 93 degrees, dropped it to 90 just by cleaning all the dust and then reduce the temperature a further 10 degrees by repasting the GPU and CPU. So there you have it guys, a nice trick to improve your laptop's performance. I personally was shocked at how much of a difference it made, I had no more drops in power, the fans were running less, so it was more quiet and the battery life improved. With that said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, leave a thumbs up, it greatly supports the channel, subscribe for more videos and we'll see you next Friday. Until then, Review Detective, out.